Hello and welcome to the calculator guide video on solving a quadratic equation using the polynomial solver. We're going to use the polynomial solver on the Casio Classwiz in this video in order to solve three quadratic equations. The first equation is x squared plus 11x plus 18 equals 0. To access the polynomial solver we need to press menu and then navigate down to option A, equational function. Press equals, and we see that the polynomial solver is option two. The class whiz can solve polynomials up to degree of four, so that's x to the power of four. But in this instance, we want a quadratic equation, that's x to the power two, so I'm going to select two. Here we have the option to input our coefficients uh, for the x terms. So because we've just got one x squared, I'm just going to input one and then we've got 11x and then 18 on the end press equals and then equals again and here we have our first solution uh, x equals minus 2 and if I press equals again then I get the second solution uh, which is x equals minus 9 so there's the two solutions so the quadratic equation is solved now the next two results will be the minimum point on the graph of the quadratic equation, which could be very useful. So the minimum point has an x value of minus 11 over 2. As a decimal, that's minus 5.5. And there's a y value of minus 49 over 4, which as a decimal is minus 12.25. This also helps you to set up the completed square version of the quadratic equation. So the value of x of minus 11 over 2 is uh, what makes the bracket equal to 0 when you add 11 over 2. So it's x plus 11 over 2 squared and then subtract the y value, so minus 49 over 4. So we can set up the completed square version um, equal to 0. Okay, I'm just going to press AC to go back to the original screen where you input your uh, coefficients. This time we're going to have a look at another quadratic equation, 5x squared plus 13x minus 6. So 5 is my x squared coefficient, 13 and negative 6 equals, and then equals to get the solutions. Um, so x equals uh, 2 fifths or x equals minus 3, negative 3. And if we press equals then we can find the minimum point on the graph as well. Uh, x coordinate minus 13 over 10, minus 1.3. And a y coordinate of minus 289 over 20, that's minus 14.45. Let's try one more quadratic equation, this time with a negative x squared coefficient. Press AC to go back to the input screen. And this time we're going to solve minus x squared minus 4x plus 4. Input negative 1 as your x squared coefficient. Negative 4 as my x coefficient. And then plus 4, so just normal 4 as uh, my number part. Press equals. So the solution has an integer and a third part. So we've got minus two plus two square root two. And then the other solution is minus two minus two square root two. And if we press equals this time, we have the maximum point or the coordinates of the maximum point of the uh, quadratic equation. Remember that a negative x squared will give you a maximum rather than a minimum point. So we've got an x coordinate of negative 2 and a y coordinate of 8. So there we go, how to use the polynomial solver on the Casio Classwiz uh, in order to solve a quadratic equation but also to find the minimum or maximum point, essentially the turning point of the quadratic graph. But that's it for this video, thank you very much for watching, I'll see you next time on the calculator guide.